Let's find the perimeter and area of this trapezium. The perimeter will be given by the sum of the four sides of the trapezium. I'm going to call those A, B, C, and D. And I'll label them on the picture here as follows. We've already got A and B, but we need to figure out what C and D are. You can see that we have these little three strokes, and that indicates that C and D are equal. If we translate the perpendicular line across here to the corner, we can form a right angled triangle with one side length 8 centimeters, one side length D, the hypotenuse, and the base which we also don't know yet. However, note that both sides here must be equal, with a similar situation on the top of the trapezium. The overhang on either side of the base must therefore equally share 15 minus 6 equals 9 centimeters of length. So 9 divided by 2 gives us 4.5 centimeters for the base of the right angle triangles. This means that D is going to be given by Pythagoras' theorem as the square root of 8 squared, this side of the triangle, plus 4.5 squared, the other side of the triangle. Jumping to your calculator, that's going to give you approximately 9.18 centimeters, the value of D. Remember that this is also the same value for the length of C. Now we can say that the perimeter is equal to A, 15, plus B, 6, plus C and D, which are both 9.18 approximately. So we have a perimeter of approximately 39.36 centimetres. The area of a trapezium is given by one half of the sum of the parallel side lengths multiplied by the perpendicular height. We already have all of these values, so we can go straight ahead and plug those in. One half of A plus B, or 15 plus 6, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is 8 centimetres. And this gives us 84 square centimetres, the area of the trapezium.